Hi everybody, I'm JT. Welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey and we're here in the French Alps in Borg Saint Maurice. So we've been staying in one of these cabins here in Cootopia, Borg Saint Maurice. We've had a week here and a couple of nights staying in the van on the way down. Just wanted to give you a quick look inside the cabin because it's been a really really comfortable place to stay for our week's skiing. Let's go and have a look inside. So this cabin is uh, on the Camping Hootopia site just on the edge of Borg St. Marie's. It's one of uh, around about I think probably 40 log cabins that they've got down here now and it's the second time that we've stayed in one here and probably the third or fourth that we've stayed in one at uh, one of their many sites across France. So there's a really good sized veranda outside with lockable ski storage on the end. Somewhere to store your logs and believe it or not even though we're in the Alps this veranda is a beautiful place to sit and enjoy the sun in the afternoon. Whilst there's still snow on the ground here, when the sun's been out, you can bask out here the whole afternoon enjoying a drink and a good book. So inside the cabin, there's a good but small kitchen with all the bits and pieces you need. Good sized fridge and freezer. We did have to bring, oh we didn't have to bring, we happened to have a kettle with us. There wasn't a kettle, weirdly. But really good hot water. There's a fondue machine, a filter coffee, toaster, and all pots and pans that you could need. Wood fired burner. All the wood is free and you collect it from down by the other cabins. It's been a really, really comfortable place for us to spend the week whilst we've been skiing here, coming back whilst we stopped in the van for a couple of nights on the way down, with four of us travelling, just having a little bit more space and a bit more comfort has made the whole experience great. So let's just show you a little bit around inside the cabin here. Master bedroom with good storage above, big windows, with shutters and again very effective heating, all the beddings provided. A sofa bed, which is the sixth bed for because the cabin will seat six. It's not the most comfortable for sitting on during the day, but it's a good place to sit nonetheless. But we learned from last time and brought some camping chairs with us just to because there's no comfy chair seating. Dining table will accommodate six people with four chairs and two stools. And then there's a good shower room and toilet. Very hot water available. Nice and snug. Really good size airing cupboard, or storage cupboard. Hanging your jackets another ski clubber in and right at the top there's a big big shelf that you can put all the other bits and bobs on. Two bedrooms, a double to the right again with good storage. Very very comfy, it's nice and warm. Bathroom and shower room shower room and toilet. Again, very comfortable and warm. And the second bedroom is a sort of triple bunk, so single bunk up top and then double bed down the bottom. The 
There's electric storage heaters throughout the cabin, which are very, very effective. The second bedroom is bunks with a single bunk up top and double down the bottom. And again, its own heating. So very, very comfy. So were there any tips for if you were gonna come here? Make sure you bring a kettle just in case, um, toilet roll and things, but then there's a supermarket just down the road. And uh, the chairs were a good idea because again, it's not, the dining room chairs aren't great for sitting down and relaxing at the end of the day. So hopefully, if you do decide to come, then you can use the tips or use this little video to give you a feel for what it's like. But we've really enjoyed our time here now. It's only a five minute drive to the funicular railway just down in town and then you get the funicular railway up to the ski resorts and then you can work your way around using the lifts or the transit buses between the different ski runs. So if you're enjoying the videos that we're putting together here on Camper Van Journey, please give us a thumbs up. Please hit the button to subscribe and hopefully we'll see you on one of our next videos very soon. Thanks for watching.